Hi, Puppy Turtle. Remember what I said at the end of my last video to you? Here we go. It's a common claim by those who are attempting to criticize the Bible that the actions of the God of the Bible, particularly in the Old Testament, are immoral or evil to the extent that an all-loving God cannot possibly have performed those actions. And as, and as I explained before in my previous video, good and evil, love and hate are abstract concepts and subjective to each individual. From my personal subjective point of view, Yahweh is a murderous, vindictive, bloodthirsty psychopath. Now, I don't buy this, and the reason that I don't is because when you want to accuse someone of being immoral, you take on a certain burden, and that is the burden of the superior alternative. If you want to accuse someone's actions of being immoral, then you are required to, upon request, be willing to say what they could have done instead that you wouldn't have criticized as being immoral, or that at the very least would have been less immoral. If you can't do that, then that means that the person did, or at least as far as you know, the person did the most moral action that they could have done in the circumstances they were in. I want to remind you that you and I can look at the same situation and think of different ways of handling that situation. I am somebody, somebody that does not believe in objective morals because, one, they have never been proven to be true, and two, since you and I would have different outlooks on the same action, that would be subjective to both of us. I want you to keep that in mind, that morality is subjective. Now, whenever atheists claim that Yahweh in the Bible has done something immoral, they invariably fail to explain what he could have done that would have been morally superior. Atheists, huh? Obviously you have not really been paying attention to what many of us atheists say could have been better alternatives to what uh, Yahweh is described to have done in the Bible. Let me start with the flood. And I know that you don't believe in the flood anymore, but let's just start with that, shall we? According to the Bible, Yahweh flooded the entire world. Yahweh killed every single man, woman, and child. He killed every animal and every plant. Yahweh killed everything except for eight people and two of each kind, according to the Bible. I personally could come up with a few different scenarios that would not have included killing every single body. How about Yahweh showing up showing off some of his power and asking people or straight up telling them like he does in other parts of the Bible to straighten up. How about Yahweh uh, clicking his fingers and turning everybody into non-sinners? You know, changing them from their deceitful evil ways uh, and if you want to try to pull off free will in that scenario, I want you to remember the Exodus, where Yahweh hardens Pharaoh's heart several times. Let's talk about another scenario, shall we? Where Abraham lies to two different Pharaohs, 
and Yahweh punishes the pharaohs that were lied to not Abraham and his wife for lying um, another scenario uh, in the book of Joshua uh, the ark is being transported and oh I'm sorry it wasn't uh, J J Joshua it was one of the king's books uh, the ark is being uh, moved somewhere and uh, the cart starts wobbling and one of the soldiers sticks out his hand to stop the ark from falling and Yahweh strikes him dead Yahweh struck dead a soldier for stopping the ark from falling off the cart I consider that pretty fucked up there's many scenarios that many atheists have come up with that they would have done differently in the in the supposed shoes of Yahweh you are ignoring those and you're painting a broad brush stop doing it let's take as our example the killing of babies that they constantly complain about the adults had to die they were a direct threat to the nation of Israel and therefore to the salvation of humanity but the babies couldn't have been they were babies so why did Yahweh command them to be killed and this is where I downloaded your video you sit there with this calm air that while the adults had to die they were a threat to the nation of Israel and without the nation of Israel we couldn't have salvation fuck that fucking bullshit you're sitting there and you're fine with having adults killed you're fine with having people killed because according to you they were a direct threat to the nation of Israel have you read the fucking Bible kid I'm just wondering have you read that book have have you read read the the first five books plus Joshua the book of Joshua is nothing but the Israelites going around destroying town after town after city after town and killing fucking everybody not just adults not just kids but everybody men women livestock and 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 it's not just in Joshua it's in the other books too you're fine with the Israelites killing people because you believe that the nation of Israel had to survive for mankind to be saved by what Yahweh created I know that it pisses you off when people say that that Yahweh uh, killed himself to please himself for what he made but it's absolutely true in the same breath here you just condoned uh, the mass murder and the mass genocide that goes on in the Bible totally I'm gonna try to get through this without getting too fucking pissed off at you anymore in order to accuse that of being immoral, you have to explain the alternative that you would not be whining about if it had occurred. Well, maybe Yahweh um, could have said, don't go over there and kill people. Don't go over there and eliminate an entire village or an entire city. Maybe Yahweh in the Old Testament could have been about caring about everybody about getting along with everybody but let's remember this the people that worshiped Yahweh back back then understood that the deity Yahweh was a god of the armies that was their mindset they were out to kill and kill and kill and that is what the first five books 
including Joshua, which would be the first six books, is all about killing. How about the alternative of not killing? How about the alternative of getting along with the people around you? Huh? What about that? Well, the first option is obviously to kill them, and the complaint we're getting from atheists is, Yahweh kills innocent babies, wah! Oh, that was so mature of you. It really was. Thank you, Puppy Turtle, for showing off that you're only 16 years old. However, had he done anything else, atheists would have also complained about that. Let me show you. Had he, say, left the babies there and not killed them, well, there were no adults around whatsoever, so it's extremely unlikely that the babies would have survived because human babies very much need caregivers. They're completely helpless, uh, uniquely so amongst most species of animals, in fact. Yahweh kills all of the adults and parents, and leaves the babies there to die. Wah! How about as a first alternative, uh, Yahweh not killing them? What's wrong? Is your God not powerful enough to keep one little tribe from being killed? What about God being all powerful? Huh? What, your God could not set up conditions where uh, he could have kept one tribe alive without killing other people? Jeez. God is a fucking... The second alternative of what to do with the babies besides kill them is to enslave them, in which case... Yahweh kills all of the adults in a city, and then he makes all of the babies slaves. Wah! And Moses and El Eleazar the priest and all the priests of the congregation went forth to meet them without the camp. And Moses was wroth with the officers of the host, with the captains over thousands, and the captains over hundreds, which came from the battle. And Moses said unto them, Have ye saved all the women alive? Behold, these caused the children of Israel through the counsel of Balaam to commit trespass against the Lord in the matter of Peor. And there was a plague among the congregation of the Lord. Now therefore, kill every male among the little ones, and kill every woman that has no man by lying with him. But all the women children that have not known man by lying with him keep alive for yourself. Numbers 31, 13 through 18. And if you want to question me about Balaam and the whole thing with PR, I will link the first video that I ever made on this channel down below. The second alternative is to take them back to Israel and raise them up as if they had been normal citizens born there. Well, there are a couple of problems with that, like what parents are going to raise them? How are you going to feed all of the babies with the amount of food available in ancient Israel? Where are you going to get other resources you need? But even if we ignore all of the reasons that that's completely and utterly impractical, Atheists would still complain about it with what I think is actually their favorite moral complaint about religion. And that is, Yahweh kills entire adult populations and then takes the babies back and indoctrinates them into the religion he started. And he forces them to serve the God that commanded the death of their parents. What would you not have complained about? Puppy turtle, how about not killing anybody? How about your god actually showing off its fucking power and keeping one goddamn fucking tribe alive? You know, how about that? 
how about your God actually showing that it is a fucking God by keeping one fucking tribe alive? Because in your precious book, your God is supposed to be like really powerful, was supposed to create everything, supposed to have some kind of master fucking plan, pretty badass plan if he's got to have Israel destroying other nations kind of bad to have his people needing to kill other people and he himself having to kill other people that he himself created do you see where this logic you know fucking fails your god supposedly created everything has got all of this goddamn fucking power and cannot protect one goddamn tribe without killing the entire fucking world. What is the morally superior alternative that Yahweh could have done instead of killing them? Because you can't claim Yahweh's actions to be immoral until you tell me what you wouldn't have said is immoral. Like I said, many many times maybe not killing anybody maybe actually showing off his power that he is the creator of the universe and earth and human beings by protecting one fucking tribe from everybody else that he supposedly created is, is, is it sinking in yet you know I've repeated myself over and over and over again here hopefully it's sunk in by now Maybe your God actually showing that it has some sort of fucking power to protect one fucking tribe that it picked out among everybody else to say that this one tribe I shall use for salvation for what I created so that I can kill myself to please myself for what I created. Does that make sense to you, Puppy Turtle, at all? I'll be making a mass response to the responses that I get to this video in about a week. So if you're going to take much longer than that to make your response, then PM me letting me know that I need to wait for your response to come out so that I can debunk your arguments as well. Wow. Look who thinks he actually has a set of balls because you have yet to respond to any video that has been made to you. I've asked you to respond to past videos of mine, but it looks like that what you're going to do is group everybody's video together into one response video. This I have to see. And Puppy Turtle, I will make sure to try to get you as many responses as possible to this. You have one week. Let's see what you can actually do, you pretentious little kid. Because I don't think that you're going to debunk everything that everybody has to say at all. You're not an apologist. You're fucking horrible at it. And so far, almost everybody that I've talked to agrees that this is something that you should really give up trying to do. But if you want to further make an ass out of yourself, I have no problem pointing it out. Because you honestly need it. Have a good day.